Okay, now we're going to look at finding the magnitude of a vector or the modulus of a vector. So if we've gone five along five along the x, one up the y, and three out the z direction, how far have we travelled? So what's the distance between the point where we started and the point where we've ended up? The way we do this is by using Pythagoras. So the modulus of a is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared. So it's the length of the line between where we started and where we ended up. So 5 squared 25 plus 1 plus 9 is 35. So we've got square root 35. For B, we've gone back to up 3 and out 1. So how far, what's the distance of that journey? So that's, we don't have to worry about a negative sign here because we just want the distance. We don't, we don't want the direction anymore. It's just the magnitude now. So it's 2 squared, 3 squared and 1 squared. 4 plus 9 plus 1 is 14. So it's root 14. And finally, C, it was 1, 4, minus 2. So the modulus of C is going to be 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared. So 16 plus 4 plus 1 is 21. Okay, three more questions. Write them in column vector form and then find the modulus of the vector. So we've got a 2 minus 6 minus 5. The modulus of a is the square root of 2 squared plus 6 squared plus 5 squared. So we've got 36 plus 4 is 40 plus 25 is 65. So root 65. For B, we have minus 2, minus 7, 1. And mod B, that's 2 squared plus 7 squared plus 1 squared. So 49 plus 1 is 50 plus 4 is 54. Or we could put 3 root 6 if we simplified it and C we've got 2 minus 2 1 so the modulus is 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared square rooted so that's root 9 which is 3 okay so 3 points a, B, and C are given by the position vectors. So when it says position vectors, that just means it's a fixed point on a 3D axis. So the point A is 2 along the X, 3 down the Y, and 3 out the K. So A is that fixed point, B is this fixed point, and C is this fixed point. Find the vector A to B. So how far is it from A to B? If ever we want to find A to B, we just take B, well, get B, and take away A from it. So A to B means B take away A. So if we get B, which is 1, 2, minus 5, and we take away A, which is 2, minus 3, 3, that will give us 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. 2 take away negative 3, so 2 plus 3 is 5. And negative 5 take away 3, negative 8. So to go from A to B, to go from here to here, we go back 1 in the x direction, forwards 5 in the y direction, and back 8 in the z direction. So 
to get from 2 to 1, we take away 1. To get from negative 3 to positive 2, we add 5. And to get from 3 to negative 5, we take away 8. So A to B is minus 1, 5, minus 8. Find the modulus of A to B. So the distance between those two points, we use Pythagoras. So we're going to have 1 squared plus 5 squared plus 8 squared, all square rooted. So 1 squared plus 5 squared plus 8 squared. So that gives me 3 root 10. Okay, find B to A. So B to A is going to be A take away B. So A take away B. 2, negative 3, 3. Take away 1, 2, negative 5. So 2 take away 1 is 1. Negative 3 take away 2 is negative 5. And 3 take away a negative 5 is an 8. So it's the same as A to B in the other direction. So B to A is A to B times by minus 1. So just the other way around. And B to A will also be 3 root 10. Because it's the same movement in the other direction. And finally, A to C. So A to C is going to be C take away A. So 5 minus 1 minus 2. Take away 2 minus 3, 3. So 5 take away 2 is 3. Negative 1 take away negative 3. That's 2. And negative 2 take away 3 is negative 5. So to go from A to C, we add 3 to X, add 2 to Y, and take 5 from Z. And the modulus of A to C, so we're going to use Pythagoras. So 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 squared, all square rooted. And that's root 38. Okay, three more questions. Pause the video, give it a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, A to B. So that'd be B take away A. So we've got 2 minus 5 minus 5. Take away 5 minus 2, 1. So 2 minus 5 minus 3. Negative 5, take away negative 2. It's negative 3. And negative 5, take away 1. is negative 6. Mod A to B. Mod A to B. So to find the modulus, we do Pythagoras. 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared, all square rooted, which is 3 root 6. B to A is going to be the same as A to B in the other direction. So that would be 3, 3, 6. And mod B to A will be 3 root 6. Because it doesn't matter if you go from A to B or B to A, the distance is the same. And A to C is C take away A. So 5, 1, minus 7. Take away 5, minus 2, 1. 5 take away 5 is nothing. 1 take away a negative 2. That's 3. And 7 take away a 1. Negative 8. So from A to C, we go nothing along the X. 3 up the Y. And 8 backwards in the Z direction. The modulus of A to C. So that's Pythagoras. So the square root of nothing squared plus 3 squared plus 8 squared 
the square root of three squared plus eight squared is root 73.